What up, what up, what up, man? Me with the mitten. You here with your, your host, Juan G. Twan? It's Warren King. Man, we got a real special guest today with us for sure. What's up, man? Go ahead. Uh, shit, you don't really need no introduction. I think they know off the face card. Yeah, you already know Smoke Chino. Man, shit, man. Let the people know where you been at, man. I know some some people like, damn, why he ain't dropped in a second? What's going on with him? Yeah, I'm, I'm still in the halfway house. You know, it's, it, I'm like kind of like restricted. So even like when y'all see me out in the streets, I really be like at home. I can't really do nothing right now. So I ain't really moving around too much. It's almost over though. Type shit. For the people that don't know, man, tell the people a little bit about you, man. Where you from when you started rapping? Shit, I'm from the east side, seven mile, Hoover area, 48205, you know, all through there. From like grad from Kelly on back to Van Dyke. But yeah, I start rapping about 15, 15 years old, I start rapping. You know what I mean? My man's had a uh, built a studio. We start rapping and shit. Just fucking around, freestyling, you know what I mean? I've been rapping for a minute now. I've been like 18 years. What made you want to get into music? Like, what motivated you? I was always into music. Like, I just love music. Like, my family, my mother, my mother can sing. Two, two of my sisters can sing. One of my brothers can sing. Three more of my brothers can rap, you know what I mean? We, all, we like, really, like, we musically inclined. Like, we love music, you know what I mean? It's therapeutic, you know? It helped me a lot. I can't live without my music. I ain't a lot. Definitely. That's a fact. So tell us about coming up on the east side, man. How was it for you? Was it like rough growing up, or you know what I'm saying? Did you kind of did you have it your way? Yeah, it was rough. I ain't gonna lie, it was rough in the motherfucker. You know, we was poor. You know, my mama got ten kids. Well, she didn't have ten kids at the time. She had seven. You know what I mean? We was poor. We ain't had too much. You know, so a nigga was forced to like be out. A nigga was forced to be outside. You know what I mean? Just get jump into the streets and find a way to get his money. You know what I mean? All right. Hell yeah, by any means. I understand that. Um, so tell us about uh I know you had a dropped the project before you had went in. Can we uh, elaborate on that about uh on that for a second? About the music that you got right before you had went into Yeah, I was like in a, I really was like in a dark place when I did that shit, but I just wanted to like put something out for the for niggas that fuck my music, you know what I mean? But I know they you know how that be like even when we was coming up and we got people we listened to, we used to be like, damn, this nigga he going to jail, you know what I mean? You want to that's your that's your favorite artist, so that's an artist that you really fuck with. So when you can't get that music from you, like damn man, what's up with this nigga, man? You know what I mean? So I wanted to just put something out for them and and let them know how I was feeling at that moment. You know what I mean? So um, tough situation, man. I know you probably can't really talk about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do the, you know, you feel me? But. Just uh, did that change you any? And did do it make you think different or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it definitely did. You know what I mean? You know, I always been kind of a nigga with sense. You know, a lot of niggas ain't got sense. I always been a nigga that got sense. So it just helped me get better, become a better man, better father, better brother, better son. You know what I mean? Everything. You know, and it made me look at life different. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like we growing up, we 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 be more focused focused on the negative shit, and everybody want to just be on some super street shit, and we that's the wrong shit to be chasing. You know what I mean? That's that's the wrong lifestyle. That's why we push trying to push it now. But you know, we come up the way we come up. You know, we was forced to be wolves. Like nigga ain't nigga ain't come out the womb a wolf. You know what I mean? Like nigga, we was forced to be wolves. You gonna either be a sheep or a wolf. You know, you gonna get fucked up or being a sheep living in the streets, living in the hood, especially in Detroit. You know what I mean? Definitely. That's a fact. Uh, tell me about uh, is there any artists in the city you plan on working with? Like once you really get like fully. Yeah, yeah, I was about to ask that one. What's up? Hell no. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Nah. I, was, I ain't really, no, I, I never was really that big on that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with Ray. I like Ray because Ray, Ray stay in his lane. He, he, him. A lot of niggas not humble, bro. These niggas cocky and they just think they just someday, I don't know, bro. Just be blowing me. I ain't that type of nigga. You know what I mean? Like, but I, I fuck with y'all moving. I like what y'all got going on. I'll be watching y'all. You know what I mean? I like what y'all got going on. I appreciate that shit for sure. Oh, yeah. So that's a fact. Would you, uh, would you ever be interested in being in movies? Absolutely, I love movies. So that's that's something that I'm for real, for real. I was I was thinking of, I got some shit wrote, you know. I'm not how my people put it together, but I was thinking about that, like putting some shit together with y'all. You know what I mean? Like we put some good shit together, man. For real, man, for real. So for so, man. No the acting, like that's that's what they like. They like some shit outside of rapping. Like once you once you already got a face valid off the rap, everybody know you from that shit. Start pushing a different line, and they gonna appreciate that side of things for so for so. 
That's a fact. And it, and it helped it helped for so draw the line for people between you being an entertainer and really like stamp that like, like right. when you do this shit when you get on the internet you entertain and you're not just trying to be right. you know what I'm saying yeah that's a fact so yeah. it make it a lot easier to, to grow that way too so you ain't got to take everything so serious because life ain't life ain't all you ain't got to be so serious to take everything like especially with music I feel like that's what a lot of people they they miss out on the music because they try to be so serious with it yeah they don't instead like of having fun, fun with it. exactly yeah. yeah that's a fact. That's a fact. You know, when you're doing something, you always supposed to be doing something that you love. You know what I'm saying? So it's Absolutely. like, if you got to, you know, I, I, I say this shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even just with music. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just say, let's take a person and let's say, let's take a tough guy, right? And let's mm -hmm. real tough guy. You know, when you outside, you know, in the streets and you around people, I understand you got to be that character or whatever, but and do that character go off you know what i'm saying exactly right right like, you at home let's say you at home with your wife and kids you know what i'm saying like you still that same tough guy you is right you know right that then it becomes you know the character overtaking the person and this nigga is just a character now you know absolutely what I'm absolutely even really you this ain't right. really you overacting you know what i'm saying like niggas be over tough you know what i'm saying and it's like those niggas is the ones who the world don't have a place for that's a fact they ass going in the ground they ain't got to worry about it you know what I'm <laughs> your ass going in the ground you know what i mean Real, like bro. like you know a lot of motherfuckers who didn't know me like if motherfucker don't know me they think oh this nigga just some super savage nigga, i ain't no motherfucking savage nigga don't call me that nigga. i'm a regular nigga like everybody else you know what I mean? We just we just grew up the way we grew up, bro. You know what I mean? Like I laugh. I don't walk around with my chest out to my yeah. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I mean? We gonna we gonna have a good time. We gonna laugh. We gonna get money. You know what I mean? But if a nigga fuck with us, then that's when you gonna see the savage shit come out. A nigga not walking around acting tough, man. That shit lame as hell, man. Grown ass man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? And back to what I was saying, man. For all the all the tough guys watching this, bro. Like you ain't gotta be tough. At least not when you at home. With your wife and with your kids and bro, That's a you, fact. bro, your girl don't give a fuck about how many motherfucking bodies you got, bro. She That's a fact, though. What you doing in the streets, bro? She care about if you listening to what she got went through at work today. You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. It's a fact, bro. None of that extra shit that you got on your mind, bro. So it got it come a point in time you you know what I'm saying turn that shit off and get in touch with your other side. You know what I'm saying? And shit, yeah. you know, just be a yeah. rep, bro. Just be a human. Ain't shit wrong with it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that, bro, but shit, that's just touching on that, man. But um, you said you got into music early or whatever, man. But what was your like real influence that really made you want to rap? Like, what made want to rap all this time ago? I mean, you know, I grew up on niggas like Master P, Scarface. You know, I grew up on a lot of South music, Southern niggas. You know what I mean? And even East Coast niggas, you know what I mean? I grew up, I listened to a lot of niggas, and it's just like, I always loved it. Like, I always wanted to be, I don't know, I just always loved music, bro. And I just felt like, I can sing and everything. I just don't sing. I don't choose to sing. I, I feel like it don't fit me. But, you know, I, I feel like niggas like Master P, he inspired me, bro, a lot, bro. Master P inspired me a lot. That's the first rapper I ever listened to. And he's not even that lyrical, but he just inspired me. Just seeing him and his grind, his work ethic, and how he put everything together and did what he did. A nigga salute that, you know, too much. Real yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Thinking too, man. Like what, what I want you to understand too is, is bro, it, it ain't never nothing wrong with stepping outside your element. Sometimes you know, especially yeah, that's if, fact. if you get, see, because once you become an artist, your music is more than it's not just about you no more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. With this so it, it becomes a time where it's really about them too, and shit. They probably don't want to hear the same shit all the time from you. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. from you so maybe because they don't want to have to go to another person to hear a different kind of shit you know what i'm saying they probably want to hear the some different shit from the same person you know what i'm saying right. artists just imagine if you somebody favorite artist and you can produce every kind of genre of music for them you know what i'm saying they don't got to listen to nobody else but you man that's that's fact. Fact. yeah yeah that's fact. don't put yourself hey. in a box for sure be a hardcore gangster rapper you know what i'm saying that just rap about you know what I'm saying? The extras, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit gonna put you in a box. You know That's what exactly what's going on. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's wanna be able to get outside of that box, bro, and be with the end crowd. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. 
motherfuckers only going one place inside of this box. They only known for one thing. This all they do. We know this them. This they hold move. You know, yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. you know, always want to be unpredictable with your sound. You know, your craft it can always take you to different places. So just embrace that. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause like. I, I go through that same shit. Twan, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be wanting to do the singing shit. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I can do it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't mind trying it. You know? So even if I flop at it or fail at it, you know what I'm saying? You got to fail before you ever pass, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you my big bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just want you to know, like, it's just a lot of niggas that's right here. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's a fact. You feel me? They always gonna be right there. Yeah. You gotta get up. Out. Like, you know, just that's be a fact. And that's what prison did to me, bro. It helped me be more versatile. You know what I mean? From sitting down to actually working and doing different shit, stepping out of my comfort zone, like you were just talking about. You yeah. know what I mean? Hell yeah. And, you know, sometimes an uncomfortable situation to get you out your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just what it be. You know what I'm saying? gotta put you in certain places to uh bring you to other places you feel me so you know you just get you know everything is just every lesson is just preparation you know mm -hmm. what I mean? i'm yeah. big to come you know what i'm saying so it's like you take everything as a lesson you know we men bro ain't nobody finna motherfucking pat us on the back and give us a bottle and let us suck on their titty no more bro right right you know yeah. so at the end of the day we all men. When we go through something, we you are lucky if you got a friend that you can go to and vent to, bro. Absolutely. Don't Absolutely. don't be it's trapped. Ain't no bitch gonna listen to you. They don't want to hear that, bro. That's a that, fact. Real one hundred, bro. They don't want to hear that. You got. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, no bullshit, no. Especially you got bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? It's Man. That one. <laughs> if she paying them, she don't want to hear nothing from you, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. Bitch, and don't say nothing to her. Right. Like, bro, like, yeah, bro. Don't say nothing to her, bro. You going to fuck it up for yourself, nigga. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had a bitch like that. So I wouldn't say shit. <laughs> 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 I'm being a bean. So, like. You know, but it is niggas out here like that. You know what I'm saying? They get the, you know what I'm saying? They get the collect 200, get out of jail free. You know what I'm saying? Right. All that shit, pass, go, you know? And, you know, some niggas get to be a real man, bro. Show out, you know what I'm saying? Go out here and fight with these lions, nigga, and come home with a meal. That's a fact. Real men that go out here and do that shit, and it's little boys that, you know what I'm saying, sit on the bench and watch mm -hmm. the room. Yeah. Shit, and talk about what real men do you know what i'm saying like that's just what it is real niggas go out here and take them chances bro you know what i'm saying i don't love boy ass shit nigga. right for real that's fact and i'm talking to the little nigga that's watching this shit that that's letting that bitch buy them new jays for him this saturday coming up you know that's, what I'm yeah. that coming up, bro. that's a fact niggas don't be having no ambition bro you know what I mean? and buy her a pair too you know what I'm right. saying? That shit go for real, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. If you ain't got it, stay down till you get it, nigga. Mm -hmm. Stay down, bro. Don't go do no dumb shit. Like, go work at McDonald's, nigga. That's going to keep you down. You know what I'm saying? You stay down till that real blessing come, nigga. Don't come, nigga. You just got to be dedicated. All it is, bro. For real, man. Mm -hmm. but back to you, though, big bro. Shit. Um, tell me a little bit more about, uh, about, about how you, how y'all came into, uh, the smoke camp. How you, how, how did you meet, you know what I'm saying? A few of your members and stuff like that. Oh, well, we all from the same hood. You know what I mean? We all grew up together, except like maybe like two of them. One mm -hmm. of them was from East Warren, you know, and the other one was from, uh, they from the six mile, but they, they was on seven, the seven so much that they start claiming the seven. See what I'm saying? Right. But you know what I mean? We all we all grew up together. And you know, Smoke Camp came from my homie who got killed in 2012 in Pontiac. You know what right. I mean? Nigga, yeah, nigga killed him in Pontiac. And that's when Smoke Camp came. But you know, before that, we was PBI. 
Mm. Then we PBI, OPB, you know what I mean? Then we transformed into that into Smoke Camp in 2012. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, but all, all the home, all the niggas that's with me, them my niggas since we was kids, them 20 plus, them 20 year plus niggas, not tomorrow. Right. So yeah, right. We, we knew each other forever. And niggas know niggas, mamas and everything. So would you say prison like grew you out of a lot of shit? Like Yeah, yeah, it did. It did, bro. A lot of shit was played out to you when you came home. Yeah, that shit it, it get old, bro. You know, especially when you, you gotta think about it. I was I've been out here since like 2001, man. Not saying in 2001 I was like super thugging, but I was in the streets. Right. And you know, so so around like 2003, that's when I really was on that bullshit. I got out the court. I've been out here for a long time, man. You know what I mean? I just seen so many. I just seen every nigga you can see, especially in our city. So like, I had meet a nigga and I'd be like, oh, I know your kind. Oh, I know your. I know his kind. You know what I mean? Like that. Like, like when I met you, I was like, oh yeah, I like, I like, I like, bro. He got good energy. You know what I mean? And I know you. I know you ain't. You ain't going for no bullshit. Like you ain't. You, you ain't no. You know what I mean? If you just let a nigga run over you. You know what I mean? I, I could, I could, I just, I didn't see every nigga you could see, my nigga. Like, I'm from, I'm from Seven Mile Hoover, my nigga. Listen, bro, we breed nothing but killers over there. And I'm not saying that Detroit don't breed killers, because Detroit, period, breed killers. But my hood is nothing but killers, bro. You know what I mean? I done watched niggas in my hood start beefing with each other. And OGs got knocked off. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of shit that happened. But this shit is gonna be in my documentary. It's a lot of shit I'm gonna speak on. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I, I done been around for some shit. You know what I mean? That's why I be trying to gear everybody up. The young niggas like y'all, even though I know y'all got sense, y'all know what's going on. I be still trying to give y'all some of my life experiences. You know what I mean? Because it might be some shit that you, you went through similar to mine. And sometimes the niggas that's younger than us don't understand. You, you, I know you ain't no dumb nigga, but you know niggas that's younger than us, people that might be watching this, they may not understand. You know, I be trying to make a nigga understand it. No, like, bro, that shit really ain't, that's not, that's not the way, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But you know, when a nigga gets so deep off into that shit, you start to lose homies. Nah, it's to, to the point where it's like, it ain't no, it's to the point of no return. So now nah, nigga ain't trying to hear shit that nigga got to say. Like, nigga, I lost my homie. Nigga, I lost my brother. Nigga, my cousin died. You know what I mean? My sister got killed behind this shit. I ain't trying to hear that. You see what I'm saying? And a nigga, a nigga got to be mindful of that. Understand that. that Some niggas really just ain't trying to hear that. But the niggas I can get through to, it made me feel good. You know what I mean? Because I wish a nigga would have been telling me that for real, for real, been on my ass. Because, you know, we when we was young, we always hear OG like, man, this ain't this ain't it. This ain't that. Man, that nigga ain't trying to hear that shit. Nigga going right back on the block. You know what I'm talking about? See, real that, shit. Man. He's see, and let's let's touch on that right fast, man. Like with these wars going on, like I just want everybody to know, everybody that's in indulged in all of these wars and shit like that, man. Like when y'all move on, when y'all pass on, who do y'all think inherits this beef? Y'all kids, bro. Y'all nephews, bro. Y'all nieces, bro. Like, y'all, y'all, that, this is our next, the generation that's coming up under us, you know what I'm saying, is the ones that's who going in this beef that we leaving behind, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when do we wake up and come together and say, look, bro, we know a lot of people have been dying, and we don't want that shit to happen to our kids. You know what I'm saying? Or my nephew. The brother. You know what I'm saying? My young. God forbid anything to happen. The person, you feel me? That's going to spark anger in them. That's going to want them to. That's going to make them want to do the same shit that the person was doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like us as men, bro have to come a time where we wake up and be like, look, bro, we don't want to be like that and we don't want our kids to be like that. So what is it that we can do to bring a resolve to all of this shit, bro? Because the killing is never going to stop until somebody wake up and be like, you know what, bro? Let's all just be men, bro. Let's all just have a talk, a conversation, bro. Man. Whenever I feel like people, it ain't always gonna pick the easy way. They just gonna get their money and leave. You know what I'm saying? That's the easiest shit to do for everybody. Once, once like that, just, just get away from the shit. But man, they ain't gonna fix nothing. And Skiller said some real ass shit, bro. When he said a conversation, bro, that's holding a lot of niggas back from flourishing together. That's a fucking fact. That's so all the take sometimes, bro. You just sit that's down and fact. talk to somebody. Really? In any relationship, whether it's your your homie, your woman, your grandmother, whatever, communication is everything. Communication is key, bro. That shit is everything, bro. 
bro. You might have this understanding with a nigga. Y'all just talk about it and you be like, damn, bro. My bad. You know what I mean? It, it, this shit could have led to a nigga getting that shit knocked off. You know what I mean? And niggas had that conversation. It changed everything. Real, man. It's like younger generation. That's what, that's what don't nobody that they main doing, bro. He trying to bring them Chicago, bro. Trying with everything in his power, bro. He damn near risking his life trying to bring that shit together out there, bro. Like, really, fact, though. when is somebody going to try to do that shit in Detroit, bro? When is somebody yeah. trying to be like, let's stop all this beef and shit? Yeah, that's a fact, though. Somebody needs to step in. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody. The thing that y'all got is that people have died, but more people is gonna die if we don't stop this, bro. More people gonna die. That's it, bro. That's all that's gonna happen. More people gonna die, more people gonna go to jail, bro. That's all that's gonna happen, bro. So... It come a planet this one day we gonna have to put an end to this shit, bro. Some kind of way, bro. We don't have to, bro. Yeah, preach. Together, bro. Like strong. It's like and, and right now with the way the internet and the way the city boom, it's like it never been a point in time where so much people with influence like running around here. That like everybody listening to them, like so many different people that like got their own fan base and crowd of people like. A cult fan base. Some of these artists got cult fan bases. Like, I don't even go name drop, but it's a real big artist. People like do whatever the fuck they tell them to do. All they gotta do is start preaching the right shit. It's gonna change. But it is. It take everybody to get on that same message yeah. and make it and make it a trend. It gotta become a trend, bro. If shit don't become a trend, they ain't gonna hop on the way with it. Man, we need real leaders in this fucking city. Yeah, talking about shit, just pushing peace, bro. I'm trying to switch the narrative and shit. Oh, I want to speak on something that J Man did that I ain't like, and I don't really want to speak on nobody. But I'm just this is just a correction. It was what he did. Uh, he went to King Von Miro and he said he was giving him the whoops. Okay. See, the thing about it is, he said he pushing peace, and he 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 probably didn't have no intentions on being disrespectful. But you can't play when you're doing it. You see what I'm saying? Like you going to do that, but you when you're doing it in a playful way, you got to be serious and be respectful. You know what I mean? Like. We understand what you do. We know you. You know, you entertain the people, but sometimes you can't do that in situations like that. That's why I don't want to speak on. You know what I mean? Correct. And that's a that's too much of a touching on what you're saying. That's too much of a 50 50 situation. You don't want to leave it up for grabs for them to take it how they want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they could take it as respect. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you, it's like, come on, bro. I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't cool, bro. Like. If some, you know, we need to let the, you know, just come on, bro. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Especially when you're from the other side already, it just don't look good. You know, in some situations, just don't. You know what I mean? That is disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't want to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? But as far as in our city, bro, like we need more leaders pushing this and not worry about all as bullshit that we don't even need to be worrying for real, bro. That's we, a fact. We need to be worrying about cleaning up our own, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's niggas killing each other every day. Mm -hmm. To me, gang, it's niggas killing each other every day, every second, every minute, on the minute. You feel me? And that shit is not getting broadcasted, bro. But the minute a white person come and do something to one black person, that shit getting broadcasted, and it's Black Lives Matter, and it's a movement. It's all this shit, but where is this shit when niggas is killing niggas, bro, every day? This shit not... That's feel, a fact. Like, come on, bro. Like, stop playing, bro. Like, we need to wake the fuck up and realize what's going on, bro. Wake up, bro. They don't give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck, bro. Facts. On this shit, bro. Come out here to my neighborhood, bro. You will probably find one liquor store probably two miles away from each other, bro. If that, them should be right on the same block. If, There's three liquor stores. <laughs> right bro. Each other, bro. Across the street from each other. <laughs> Man, for real. Next door to each other, bro. Ugh. Like, you gotta, sometimes you just gotta wake up and just start doing the math, bro. Yeah. 
start doing the fucking math and just look around and be like, hold the fuck on, bro. Like, what the fuck is your, come on, bro. Go to the hood right now. It's a liquor store right here, dispensary right here, pharmacy right here, chicken spot right here, all this bullshit, bro, that don't need to be right here, bro. Where the fuck is all of the good shit at? Where's the fucking recreation centers? Where's the YMCAs, bro? Where the fuck is all of the good shit? What, mm -hmm. what the fuck is this? All we got is liquor stores. Crap kids everywhere. Man. Boots everywhere. Walking up and down this bitch. Come on, bro. What is we doing? Car shop. That's Come good. on. Car repair shops and top. Man, that's a car repair shop for everywhere. <laughs> 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 hey, like, come on. This, like, this is what they have to offer us, though. And they showing it. They showing it to us. Hear me? Why the fuck the liquor store open before the bank? Right. The liquor store open at eight. No, he's still doing that shit. A line, though. It, that's that's a fact. They got regular coming to that bitch. Soon it opens. Damn near helping them open the door. Come on, bro. Why are you always with me? That's niggas, aunties and uncles, brothers, cousins. But you're not. You're not in this, bro. Yeah. You're for you real. That's what you are. Gotta wake up, bro. You're gonna be trapped in that shit forever. That's why I'm glad we starting to get this platform we got now, cause like. Yeah, y'all hey, got y'all hey, got that y'all got that uh the Benzino joint. Oh yeah, that was legendary. Right there. Like, nah, we, we can flip it. Like we can do what we want to do almost to a point. Like it's, it's like, bro, you gotta you gotta you gotta do that shit that you talk all this all this little shit, bro. You got that's what they want to see first to even see like the fuck with you. you know, it's like they don't want to see you do all this good shit. Like you could do that, but they ain't. You gotta man. You gotta. Um, Open it's, it. it's hard to explain this shit, bro. You gotta give them what they want, but then the main thing about the internet is negativity, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the only thing that's going. That's the negativity sells. I, you know, that's what's going on, bro. You yeah, gotta be man. negative. <laughs> but once you once you get that out the way, you got the platform. I feel like, man, it, you gotta do something positive. To get that's that a fact. Too, for sure, like, it's a fact. Just look though. Look, if we can go on this motherfucker all day, look, I can go make a reel right now and, and tag us three in there. And we can do something together and make and make it positive. Motherfuckers gonna look at it and they gonna be like, oh, that's real shit. But we go out was right now, stumping nigga out, pistol whipping all type. Man, that crazy. shit gonna go through the roof. You know what I'm talking about? Man. I swear. That's that's just what they like. Yeah, you know, man. it's like it's it's hit a business. So it's like you don't wanna you, you can't you can't just just fuck up your business by trying to sell shit that they don't want to buy. Right, right. That's a fact. That's a fact. We about to do this little um this little question shit. All right. we, um three questions. Twan gonna start it off. And uh right. I asked the funny questions. He asked the regular shit. All right, I'm gonna just yeah, come on, fuck it. Let's go. All right, uh shit. Name your top three producers from Michigan. And beats. Rocaine and Hell of right. If you had to pick and you ain't had no choice, would you rather drown? Or would you have to get buried alive? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read a draw. I read a draw, bro. I read a draw. If you never got into music, what do you see yourself uh, been doing? Like, where right, basketball. Basketball. It would be basketball. It, it may not have worked. It may have, but I was a good player. You know what I mean? I, I, I played basketball. We're going to do fuck, marry, kill. All right? We're going we gonna to do precious, whoopee. Queen Live, bro. Hey, fuck Mary Kill, Queen Latifah, Precious, and Whoopi Goldberg. All right, so I kill Precious. <laughs> Get her ass uh, out of here. I fuck Whoopi and I marry Queen Latifah. All right, yeah, that's solid, I think. Um, that was the only way to go with it. <laughs> 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 All right, look. Repito. Nah, if you walking down the street, right, you see a million dollars cash. On the ground. Now, Pete, it's no bullshit, no funny, bro. Dog, you want some bullshit? I swear to God, but Pete, though, no bullshit. See a million dollars cash on the ground, right? Dead human head laying next to it. Nah, 
You said it's a dead man next to it? No, just a dead human head. It's like a decapitated head. Like decapitated. You walk up to the bread, you picking up the money, right? Nah. It's a crooked cop that walk up to you while you picking up the money. And he tell you, like, listen, bro, you don't even got to steal the million dollars because the dead human head right there is worth a million dollars. But if you turn it into the station, you get a million for it. But he a cricket cop, so the nigga tell you, like, Pete, bro, you take one, you give me one, we go our separate ways. <laughs> what would I do in that situation? Which one would you take? Which one would you give him? Wait, give what you mean? Give him what, though? Hold on, I'm, I'm lost a little bit. You like, said it. Like, you take one, and you give me one, we go our separate ways. He's, you know, the dead human head. Oh, so 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 either take, give him the head or give him the money type shit? Yeah, this in the head worth a million, though. I, that sounds like some gay shit. <laughs> this nigga crazy the motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga wild nigga, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was thinking about killing the nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, yeah, kill this nigga. Get the fuck <laughs> on with the million. Shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> nigga got me with that shit at church. I was, <laughs> I was hurt. I thought I was on glue. I was in church. A nigga got me with that bitch. I'm damn like that. <laughs> 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 Bro, I swear to God, bro. Rest in peace, my nigga Gerald, bro. He got me in church, bro. Damn, bro. I know you said. I know you said like give him head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I it, bro. I'm, I'm like nigga, what? I'm what? That's a good one, though. That's a good one. I ain't gonna lie. If a nigga, only way, only way I'm gonna be on, only reason I was on it because I know usually when a nigga comes with some shit like that, it's some shit like that in there. You know what I mean? I straight up. I straight up. Said that shit, bro. No diddy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not no diddy. <laughs> no diddy, bro. Crazy. Hell no. Bro, I tell you, bro. I made a pledge to get everybody that I run across with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we finna start leading with the line. Right, we, we got a bunch of questions. We gonna keep the questions. Bro. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, you will get it. Yeah, that's so. Be like y'all ain't do your homework. I can tell y'all ain't watched the Tino interview. That's how I know y'all. Yeah, that's a fact. That's <laughs> whoever don't watch y'all ass grass. <laughs> you know, <we> this close. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, though, man. What's um, what's another project you got working on? Uh, what's your next project working with the people? I got the. I got the. Uh, I ain't even tell a lot of people though. I got the uh, drilling ain't dead. It's gonna be EP or, or mistake It's gonna be EP. I think it's a waste of time for anybody to just do a whole tape because you could just yeah. chop that down and turn it to some something else. You know what I mean? And have more releases out of it. Yeah, day. you feel me? That's just like when the person do an interview, they chop the interview up and milk yeah, them like right, that. Right, right. Yeah, so you know, you you would drop that whole mixtape. You got too many songs. They ain't gonna listen to all of them. That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. You only gave them five at a time. If you would give them twenty, like they ain't gonna listen to the whole twenty, like they is the whole five. That's a fact. That's a big fact. No bullshit. How did you how did you come into catching your case, bro? Like what 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 like transpired, you know what I'm saying, to to get you like uh see the thing about it is, you know, they use that they use that that, that charge, they use conspiracy charge to get niggas. You know what I mean? They didn't they didn't necessarily catch me doing nothing, you know what I mean? They basically used something that three other individuals did that claimed the same thing I claimed and put and mixed all of it in like that, you know what I mean? And you know, I'm the face. So they gotta get me, you know. This nigga gotta go. It's basically like you promoting this shit type shit. You know what I mean? He gotta go. He's the promoter. He's the one who trying to, uh, you know what I mean? Put fear in motherfuckers through the internet type shit. You right. know what I mean? But you know, a lot of niggas, like a lot of my homies, my young niggas, my family, they was in the streets doing what they do. You know, niggas is getting killed. You know, niggas, is, you know, robbing niggas. You know what I mean? You know the the the, the same old shit. And they ended up getting the whiff of niggas. And, and actually. My lawyer told me that they seen me on Cheeks page. That's what made them look into me. You know what I mean? Because they was already on Cheeks. And they seen me on Cheeks page. And they like, you let's see what's up with him too. And that's how they figured out, like, oh yeah, he's smoking. So they go when they go to the DPD base, 
the, the database and they look in here, they go all the way back all these years. Like, oh, these niggas been getting flicked together since 2004. Oh, he was just, they got caught. He got caught with heroin in his house. He got, you know what I mean? And they they, they started doing their research, bro. And they, they they come up with a whole bunch of bullshit. But the, the case really was some bullshit, bro. To be honest with you, bro. It was, it was some bullshit, bro. It wasn't no, no serious shit. Like, they put a 10 on that shit. You know what I'm talking about? So they milk it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And you know, a lot of niggas will take that and run with it and try to act like, oh, yeah. But they, they put a 10 on it, bro. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't what it seemed like it was. You know what I mean? But like I like I told, the, the good thing about it is they didn't have nothing on me. You know what I mean? I got caught with the gun. That's about it. You know what I mean? I ain't had no robberies. I ain't had no murders. None of that. You know what I mean? All right. So this right here, y'all going to hear this exclusively from him, from the man himself. You don't never plan on getting a job, right? You, Hell no. You look scary. Somebody going to hire you. No, <laughs> but even if they, even if they I was, was, I wouldn't. I, I, if I was the interviewer and you came in that bitch, I damn near quit. <laughs> you funny, <laughs> <laughs> you funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, there, done. I ain't signed up for this shit, bro. That's a fact, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but shit. Um, what you want to ask him, Twan? Uh shit, we've been getting a whole lot of hate for for this shit. I really want to know what you what's your opinion on this shit, man. You think Benzino disrespected the city by coming down here? No, bro. No, no, no. Hell no. You know what I mean? And I and I like what y'all did, and I salute that. Y'all did the right thing. This is this is this is this is gonna get y'all higher. You know what I mean? The man that come the man that comes tomorrow, F Detroit. The man said F this man, this man, and I'm be honest with you, this man has said my my street in songs. You know, the welcome to Detroit. He said, let me hear you hire Ryan Avenue, bitch. That's my street. Yeah. And, you know, D12, one of the dudes, Detail Caniva, is my one of my closest partners, uncle. But this man ain't never been on my street. But th this thing about him, I ain't got nothing bad about him to say about him. But the thing about him is he ain't helping us, bro. Why is y'all going hard for a man that's not helping us? What is he doing for us? Oh, he helped, he helped this such, but he didn't help us, though. He didn't help none of the, the younger dudes that, that represent our culture. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. He ain't helping us. And I, and I ain't saying that on no... I don't negative shit. Let's just be real, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and the man that come here, like Benzino, they come here saying if Detroit, well, I'm disrespecting Detroit. I'm shit on Detroit. He he been had a problem with this man for years. If anything, it's not that serious for one. It's just some rap shit, some WWE shit. You know what I mean? Because if anything was gonna happen, it would have been happening, man. This shit 20 years. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, man. Like y'all, and, and, and you know, people, 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 we got they always got they input on some shit, nigga. Y'all, what y'all gonna do, nigga? What you gonna do? You see <laughs> what I'm saying? What y'all doing about it? You want this bitch typing, nigga? You know what I'm sure. Like, come on, man. You be goofy as hell, man. As you being a, a, a resident from Detroit, a Detroit native yourself, do you do you were you satisfied with the questions that we asked him? Like, did that did, like with the? I know you probably wanted a couple of answers on, you know, who the who who was in the cars and what Benzino was doing down. Do you feel like we asked him the necessary questions to get the answers that maybe you was looking for? Yeah, yeah. I do. And I'm not just saying that, you know, I'm being real. Like I do. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all asked them. Y'all did good, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all did good. Y'all did real good. And y'all just not, y'all just not really starting starting. You know, that's a good, that's a good look for y'all. You know what I mean? I was happy for y'all. You know, I'm one of them niggas, bro. I really I'm rooting for you for real, genuinely. You know, a nigga be fake rooting for a nigga. Nigga, it, it's in some in a moment shit, you know, then a nigga disappeared. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I want to see y'all. And I and I and I can and I can definitely vouch for that, man. Ever since he came home, ever since he reached out to me, <clears throat> he embraced me, and it ain't been number love ever since. You know, that's a fact. That's a fact. Respond, ain't no wait a couple days. He be on that shit, bro. He fuck with me, I fuck with him. Embrace that's me. That's a fact. I fuck with him a long way. Shit, you're a real nigga, bro. For real. Man. Okay. Yeah. Any way no. I can help, bro. That's that shit ain't gonna hurt me, man. You know what I mean? I really want to see y'all win, though. You know, what I mean? I'm that's that's genuinely, bro, for real. No bullshit. So it's safe to say that by us doing the interview with him, that it wasn't we wasn't going against the city or nothing. Hell no, nah, man. Hell no. Nah. You know what I mean? Of, Come on, man. It's a lot of people feel like we is, but shit, they gonna feel like that. everybody got a piece. Yeah. You know, you know, but at the same time, like this is this is business, nigga. It's not personal, nigga. This that this uh -huh. business, nigga. You know what I mean? Man, all we did was cover it. That's a fact. Like, and you know these like goofy-ass niggas, they ain't going to see that because they don't know business, man. You know what I yeah. mean? This business, man. Y'all yeah. act like we on this bitch dick-sucking the nigga. You know what I mean? This is, this is business, nigga. What you mean? Mm -hmm. You feel me? 
I, I, as soon as I seen it, bro, I was happy. I was like, hell yeah, they did the right thing immediately, yeah. immediately, bro. I didn't, I didn't look at it like, oh, these niggas fuck with you know what's up. No, I like they did the right thing. You know what I'm up. That's yeah. real shit, bro. Yeah. Nigga, y'all, 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 nigga, y'all ain't got a nigga. nigga. What nigga? What y'all got? Nigga, fuck them niggas, bro. Do what y'all do, bro. Keep doing y'all shit. You know what I'm up. A lot of people yeah. going running with the narrative, thinking that we paid them some kind of money, and he did that for free, bro. We ain't pay him nothing. I love right. the love. For my kids, bro. We ain't pay him nothing, bro. He did right. it. He wanted to get his message out to the younger generation, bro. And he used our platform to do that. And we gave him the platform to do that, bro. Like right. disrespectful towards Detroit, bro. Like, we ain't pay no money. They'll pay. Man, kid they'll pay kid they'll pay six hundred dollars to post that phone call. Like that shit. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, and that goes like back he, to what I was just saying. He, 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 well, look, he, that goes he, back to what I was saying. You can't really get mad at that because it's like it's business. Yeah, and I just, he, bro. The internet knew this type of like, bro. They mad at us for giving them a platform, but KDL gave him money. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> he put money in his pocket, right? Type shit. Yeah, like what? And it's like you could tell that by the shit that KDL was saying that he was trying to get an interview out the nigga on the phone. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Well, Detroit feels like you like. Come on, bro. Like he played it that way, so like he like I could be involved, but I, I ain't gonna look like a bad person by talking to him. You know what I'm saying? So he tried right. to handle that. He been with the podcast, bro. Like, like he was supposed to come on that bitch, bro. bro. He was one of the first people DM'd us about like, when we did this shit with Benzino. He DM'd us like, yeah, I don't think I could come on y'all podcast anymore right now. It don't look like it's, it's like I see y'all just did the shit with Benzino. Y'all finna blow up. Good luck to Who y'all. Who said that? Kid Hill. Yeah. He was supposed to be we, King was supposed to go on his couch next week. He was supposed to come on our couch this week. But we did the shit with Zeno. He don't want it to happen no more. I don't, I don't know. He was supposed to do it. What? I make it happen later on. Like shit, I, mean, I don't know what's up with dude, bro. I mean, that, that, but that goes back to what you were saying earlier, bro. Like a person got to person got to know how to communicate. He said that, then he dropped the motherfucking phone interview with Benzino later that day. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But like, I don't, um. I know you had some situations with Lando before in the past, man. Uh, what was yeah. All right, with you and Lando, you want to talk about that? It was just some dumb shit, though. It was like Lando, Lando. See, the thing about Lando is he, I think Lando tried to, well, back then, he tried to do too much at once. You know what I mean? He, he had shit going on over here, over here, over there. And, you know, I, I he, he hit me up one day. This is when he first started. He's like, man, I got, I'm, I'm going to shoot a video for you. I'm doing videos now. I'm like, all right, bet. And, you know, at this time, I'm paying for my shit. So I'm happy as hell to get a free video. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I hit him up. He like, no, he got one. He had a video shoot with uh, Hill and A. Y'all know Ave is the He ain't yeah. really on the scene no more. And we over there on uh, we on Prairie. We used to be on Prairie and A mile. And uh, Lando ended up getting the tour with him over something. And I pulled up and I seen Lando walking off. You know, what I mean? I'm like, what's up that nigga? They like, man, that nigga was post shit. Woo-woo. So he leave. Like, he gonna act funny with me now. So I called him Thursday. He like, yeah, I'm shooting next week. Next week came, he said, he told me the same thing. The next week came, he told me the same thing. I, I started getting mad, you know what I mean? And that's really how it transpired. So he started ignoring my calls. So I told I had Carl Rowe, like, I just made a song by Lando. Fuck it with him, you know what I'm talking about? So I sent the shit to uh, Rowe and Lando. So Lando, like, oh, man, you a whole-ass nigga. Woo, woo, this, that, the third. He like, nigga, go ahead and release it. I'm pl- it was really some plan shit for how I released it, you know what I mean? But it was never nothing serious with that nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Lando did a lot for me, bro. Like, yeah. in, in, in the way, in the way that he didn't even have to. You know what I mean? This is a nigga that been on my couch sitting next to me playing 2K with me and everything. You know what I mean? But I didn't even know how to get money off of this shit. And he showed me how to do it. He didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? I mean, I knew I knew of the platforms, but I didn't know how to actually go through with this shit. Like, take the, you know what I mean? So he didn't have to do that. And that's why I said what I said when I apologized to him the last time I just got the trip on him. You know what I mean? But you know, a lot of niggas may not feel that way. A lot of niggas might feel like, F him. Fuck him. We'll do this and that and third. But he really a good nigga if you really get to know him. And, you know what I mean? But he, you know, that shit is just some bullshit for real. It wasn't really no serious shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Most definitely. Yeah, that's like our shit was with him, bro. It was, it was some bullshit. We ain't nothing yeah. no serious crazy. Yeah, it definitely ain't nothing serious. And like I said, bro, me and him, we had a conversation, and I definitely let him know that it was a he, He's an easy nigga to communicate. If you communicate with him, you'll be like, yeah, you right, bro. You know, you, you'll see shit different. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, you know, I feel like he still feel like it's a little... Bad blood, but I just you know 
if he do see this shit, I want him to know it's all love. I want him to keep being able to feed him, keep prospering in life. I mean, if you if you want to, I mean, we could, I, I could reach out to him and talk to him. You know what I mean? Because he he talk, we, we could talk to him together. You know what I mean? Like, man, that ain't nothing, man. That ain't. You know, he done been through a lot of stuff with a lot of people, bro. That's what people don't know. Like, he been through Lando been through a lot, man. You know what I mean? People may not. I, I feel like what he said about y'all when he did the uh, the thing. What what is it called? Uh, like a review, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. he shouldn't have did it like that. Like he did it in a way, like just being like, "Oh, why is they doing this?" What? No, that's not how you know. You 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 be like, "Oh, it, that, it was cool," or "I ain't really like it," and leave it at that. Not they shouldn't have been doing this. They shouldn't have been doing that. Like you don't do no stuff like that because then you are gonna make that person feel some type of way and they can turn to some street shit. You know what I mean? Real mm. shit. Yeah, but shit, all love with him, bro. But overall, though, bro, good nigga, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't just saying that. He he really needs to do that off, talk, and I know that off talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, bad bro. That's a fact, though. Think about it. We did. Right. I love, bro. Who y'all on the show? And make sure y'all Yeah. Let me get off the dark real quick. Hold on. They turn the mic. We know. We 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 had about fifty minutes, so we can go ahead and get the wrap up. Is there anything else? Anything else you want to leave the people with? Shit, man. I appreciate everybody who support me. You know what I mean. Stay positive. At least try to. You know what I mean. Keep tapping in with me if you fuck with me, man. That's all I really want to say. Nothing major. Yeah, we definitely excited for you to get, come back home, get back integrated, get back in. You know what I'm saying? Back in the back in the scene with everything. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get you back on the couch in person. You know what I'm saying? We can get a get the next podcast. We'll be together. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Y'all know I got the, I got my own podcast coming. I just got to get up out of here. You know, Word? we can put shit together. Yeah. yeah. I, I, ain't know, I ain't even know about that. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. We can definitely put some shit together, too, though. Like, you know, we can, we can figure, some, figure some shit out. That's right here. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah I'm behind that 100 percent, man. That's going to that's gonna go. That's going to be big for sure. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Of course, you know, we got your back. 100%. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it too, bro. Me and King just talking like, man, we about to man, put rap on the back burner for a second, put this podcast on. For That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Y'all niggas, I ain't gonna lie, y'all working, man. Keep working, bro. Keep working, man. Y'all doing good, bro. Keep working, bro. Don't ever worry about what niggas, critics. You know, when I first started doing this shit, I used to always worry about what people thought. Don't know, right. don't ever keep going. Fuck them niggas. Keep going, bro. Because the more they talk, the more you go up. Keep talking. You know what I mean? Keep doing what y'all doing. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Real shit. No more yeah, talking about, oh, why y'all doing this with busy though? All right, keep talking. Let them talk. Don't even respond to them, bro. Just let them talk. Fuck y'all. Keep talking. <laughs> let them share it. Share this shit so get around. You know what I mean? Real shit. Uh, most definitely, bro. That all press is good. Press to my opinion, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. Y'all on y'all way, though. Y'all on y'all way, bro. Just keep working. Keep working. Even with the music, don't don't put the music on the back burner because I, I ain't saying like on the back burner, but my like uh, you know what I'm saying fo focus more on this podcast, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because you know the podcast is the podcast shit is popping up right now. Man. And you know, once y'all get to a certain level with that, y'all can just drop music too. Like, huh? Y'all can have this too. We do this too. You know what I mean? We do this too. Man, but uh, we gonna come together and do this movie shit though. I like because I. I like y'all. I like y'all ambition. Y'all drive. How y'all own it. Y'all work ethic. Y'all own that shit. Mm -hmm. And I can fuck with y'all on that. You know what I mean? We could we could definitely put some shit together. Some movies, bro. These niggas getting a lot of money off this Tubi shit, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we, we can put some shit together. Yeah, we, bro, bro, just wrote those script. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, what I mean? that's real shit. Yeah. We, we got the script, but damn near finished. We gotta mix in these little extra scenes and shit. We try to get all the cameos to make sense. Right. Right. Yeah. That's a fact. That's good though, bro. I'm proud of y'all though, bro. Keep doing y'all shit, man. For real. Shit, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Me with the mid I was smoke cappuccino. I don't know who we gonna have on this bitch next. Y'all stay tuned to find out. Hey, and make sure y'all um start DMing us about who y'all want on the show and make sure y'all go and follow the page meeting with the men.